My names are Brother Chukukelo John Chijioke. I reside at number 26 Latif Sani Street of Agolejika Ijesha here. I joined Chosin in the year 2006. I thank God for making me and my family a chosen family. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My beloved brethren, first and foremost, I want to testify to the glory of God for granting my nephew, Johnny Mercy, all the way from Dubai to Nigeria. Thank you, God of Choosing. Thank you, Father. Choosing, praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to tell us that when this young man visited my family, he favored us with many gifts, shirts, t-shirts, shoes, handbag, wristwatch, and many of them. Mm. I want to return the glory unto God of Chosen. Clap unto God of Chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. My choosing. beloved, the uniqueness of his visit to our house when we were discussing prior to last Thursday when our daddy Gio preached the demonstration of the move of uh, the demonstration of the move of the, the wonderful of, move of the of wonderful God. move of God. Yeah. So I invited him while we were discussing, you know. We just, he just said something like casually because before he traveled to Dubai, you know, he's a man servant in Catholic Church. So that day when our daddy was preaching, he now asked the congregation that he gave us the right to make call and call people who ought to be here. Then I made a test message to him. I said to him, we have started a service and you're not here. He, he replied that something is holding him. After that thing, he will come. To my greatest joy and surprise, about, about a few minutes, he called me on phone that he has come. Then I went out and brought, brought him into the church. So I want to thank God for his visit in the Lord chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Chosen praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My second testimony goes to us. It's all about financial favor. All this while, probably last two months, it has been difficult, even in my family. But seeing us outside, you will never know we are under, undergoing some financial stress because of the way they reduced our salary in our workplace because we are working one week on one week off and this thing drastically affected my income that we find it difficult to cope for the month so i was looking at my children they were so joyful and i know that maybe in their heart things were not the way it used to be but i was looking after this god of choosing for, to do something even when I received my last salary on the month of May, because before I make any expenses, I will make sure I remove my tithe. After removing my tithe and disposing the cash to the appropriate quarters, I was left with about 300 and something naira. I know that God of choosing will surely navigate us through the month. But I want to tell us that all this while, there have been salary negotiation in our company. And we are praying that God will touch the heart of the management of the company to raise the percentage on a higher level because of the high inflation of things in this country, Nigeria. So I believe by faith that after the negotiation, that things will happen financially in my life. So to the glory of God, even in this month of jubilation for the needy, God knowing fully whether I'm in their need of grocery and things in my family, the negotiation was concluded and I want to tell us from the accumulated areas from the 25% increase yesterday I got an alert of 649,720 naira 89 kobo thank you father clap on to God of choosing Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Chosen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't need to ask me what I did with the money. I quickly, with my wife and my daughter, we went to this new established Bokumat. 
and make sure we satisfy our family with the necessary things choose him praise the lord hallelujah then finally i want to thank god for his evangelical prowess in my life my beloved brothers and sisters when i newly parked in this neighborhood ijisha here it was very tough i fought prince oh god fought principalities powers and rulers of darkness of this world even in this place even spiritual wickedness in high places i have testified of all those things that i'm going to somewhere that most of the time when the battle becomes so fierce god will use the angel of our daddy and the lord to appear there is this particular one that happened even when god was using the angel of the lord in the spiritual ring at the same time god was using our daddy physically while he was preparing for message even on for sunday it all happened one night as i was sleeping it was a very big battle they accosted me just to cut it short then when they came to fight your three young men with us marched and they stood before me asking me where do you think we are carrying you are carrying this multitude of people to i just told them i'm taking them somewhere or something like that so all of a sudden because i knew i cannot overpower them i made short prayer in that dream i said who will deliver me from the hand of these people immediately i made that prayer then our daddy in the lord in that dream appeared and he came to that place and asked those young men give me that machet give me that ask immediately he handed over everything to our daddy in the lord i wake up in the dream that was on sunday morning to my greatest surprise because this thing happened between that kind 1 to 2 a.m or thereabout then to my greatest surprise when our daddy was preaching that sunday morning he said something he said why he was writing this particular message he was preaching that day about that same 1 a.m to 2 a.m god came to him and asked go into prayer my, one of my son is in trouble then the lady said he abandoned what he was writing and went in the spiritual realm and because of that spiritual realm indeed he saw them attacking his son and they were holding machet and battle us and he said to them give me that machet give me that battle us and i realized that is how god used our daddy in the lord both spiritually and physically hmm. to fight that battle for me hmm. choosing praise master jesus christ thank you father so another one happened we were in thursday service like this our daddy was ministering every choosing ones was vibrating i was vibrating immediately i take off from the congregation spiritually and go to the junction of my area as i came to that junction i began to preach people were coming out in mass the occultic men in that neighborhood which my landlord was one they were not happy and they began to they came out to attack me why they were coming with fierce anger oh my god i made that same prayer i said who will deliver me from the hand of these people beloved beloved believe me i saw a brand new toyota corolla coming coming to that place in the corolla park our daddy in the lord with his bible step out from that corolla then in our daddy in the lord stood i run to his side an angel with a drawn sword from heaven came down and stood by me also that was how god of choosing destroyed them and some died in that place which is my my landlord was one of them and today i want to tell us that our landlord then because i packed up from that place is no more today why am i going to this place after all this battle one i asked god god why are you delivering me from the hand of these people my beloved even i want to sleep i made this uh, question i have not sleep god came to i'm telling you honestly the voice of god spoke audibly to me he said you want to know why i preserve you in all these things because i've been facing battle right from infant to this particular age our fourth spirit woman agent even death and god is still keeping me god said all this while i am keeping you to fulfill the word of god in the book of isaiah chapter number 42 verse 7 when i woke up immediately i pick up this word of god and read through in summary it's all about evangelism and bringing people out of darkness out of prison into god unto god so what i'm saying last two monday i was preaching near Egyptian bus stop here i don't know that a young man was listening to me 
he said after my preaching i was going home then i trekked down and bent to Takba to go to my place in an agrological area he stopped me he said brother please you are the one i'm following i turned i said why he said the first question he asked me he said please my brother can god ever forgive me i said what happened he said i have done enough can god ever forgive me i said god will forgive you no matter the kind of sin you have committed that jesus christ has paid the price on the cross of calvary i want to tell us i finished my morning cry by after eight we were standing where this young man was confessing i was admonishing him almost one hour he made some confession how he was arrested for doing nothing then after coming out from that prison he became another person entirely he can he kill he made they did a lot of things the one that struck me most he said there was a time he saw somebody preaching i want to tell us this person was preaching with all this new um, um megaphone you know megaphone bluetooth all those big megaphones he went and attacked that person slide that person down and carry the megaphone that this new model one and went and sold it for forty thousand. but about so was preaching he said if he pass he will come back he will pass for five times that thing is telling him go back and when he stood it seems that i was telling his own story that's why he come to me i gave him um all the word of encouragement and told him to come and he promised to come to church last week which i believe he come and when he was like telling me that he has has he has is having also problem i just make sure i satisfy the hunger that morning to the glory of god i gave him two thousand to go and take care of himself and pray that he will come but i believe that today that god not have arrested him to be a chosen i thank god for the, all this evangelical prowess my beloved i want to tell us that god has been using me because i'm an atheist evangelist even after i'm going to work and coming back i preach many at times even soldiers many people will stop me after i alighted from the bus for counseling i thank god for all these things so i stand here to return every glory unto god for all he have done doing and said to do for us i said let his name alone be glorified in the mighty name of jesus christ my beloved on this note i want to pray for our daddy in the lord who this god of choosing is using to deliver us both in the spiritual realm in the physical daddy i pray that god called you in this ministry all i'm asking oh god surround our daddy as the mountains surround jerusalem be a wall of fire around him to protect him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet i soak and immerse him with the blood of jesus christ father renew his strength his vigor his youthfulness father as he continue on this mission of propagating your gospel through crusade in every of his travel your word said who is he that will set a brian thoughts before you you will march over them and burn them out to ashes whatever the enemies have said before him to truncate his ministry father march over those things burn them out to ashes any evil personality that will embark on any journey to harm him or his household even his ministry it shall be journey of no return for them in the mighty name of jesus christ i cover our daddy in the lord with the blood of jesus christ i cover his household with the blood of jesus christ i cover in touch with him worldwide with the blood of jesus christ for in jesus christ's name i pray for Amen. the entire choosing worldwide i pray for heaven at last in the name of jesus christ remain blessed in jesus christ's name appreciate the lord by clapping unto him Thank you, Father.